What's going on, Chris Spouse fans? Welcome to the match reaction, the live match reaction. One nil Bournemouth over Crystal Palace. Um, tough loss to take, um, especially ahead of a really, really rough stretch uh, of games to, to end the season. Uh, I'm your host, T, and I'm joined by Patrick, who uh, will be here for a short time, but a good time, hopefully. Uh, Patrick, look, really quickly, man, just just give me your insights on what you saw, saw out there uh, in this match. Um. I thought the first half was okay. I mean, obviously, listen, man, the injuries are starting to pile up on us. They're starting to really hurt us. Not having Richards, I thought was a was was gonna hurt. I thought Lerma did really well um in the in the back three with Ward and um Anderson. Um and I thought Hughes honestly did a good job in midfield with Wharton. Mm -hmm. Um the goal that the goal that got chalked off really hurt us. I mean, I feel yeah. we need to go ahead clearly. Well worked goal. I mean, we're talking about inches for um, attempted to be offside. Um, brings uh, Ayu into play. Ayu good cross um, as a good finish. But once that goal got chalked off, I was only really hoping for a nil nil because honestly, we didn't create anything uh, much. And then the subs had to make the subs. So we played Saturday. We're talking about three days ago, right? I mean, mm -hmm. ten of those players played on the most of the game on on Saturday. Um, we our bench is a bunch of kids, and again, people say. it. Play the kids, right? Play the kids, right? Okay, bring in Ozo. Wants to get uh, Loma back in midfield. Kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense. Put him back with Wharton. That's where his natural position is. People saying, why did he move him? Ozo's played midfield, uh, played defense, sorry, as a kid. Played in youth team, U18s as, as a central defender. Makes a mistake. Semenyo beats him, crosses, Clybert scores. Why? Because their bench is about a million times better than our bench. So it came down to that. So that's what happens. I mean, listen. It was always going to be tough to win this game today. You, you're right about the figures coming up, but it was a, it was going to be tough today, and, and it proved to be tough loss. Yeah, I mean, th this match itself was tough, and every other one that we have uh, left is is definitely going to be that way. Unfortunately, um, you know, um, tough break for us not having a guy like Richardson there because now I think we see the stability that he was bringing um, at the back alongside uh anderson you know what i mean um it goes a long way to say um what he does and what he brings because you know when he's out you know we find ourselves uh, in the predict predicament that we were in with having to you know uh start a, a central midfielder there and then bring in uh, a young <laughs> central midfielder there um, and then, like you said, you know, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's a tough ask when you're looking to play the young guys, but I think it's almost a multiplicative, um, situation of, of hardship when you play that young guy and you play them in a position that may not be what we consider to be their natural, yep. their best position or natural position right. or a position that they have and, and, and not even that, like in this system not necessarily like not all th three at the backs are are equal so right you know um it, it tough no matter what uh, you know and you could say squad depth all you want to but it's not a lot of teams out there that can have nine guys out eight or nine guys out and be able to be okay you know uh, not too many not too many teams can uh can do that so yeah uh, um, yeah i mean we we had a discussion about squad depth i'm, I'm looking at the chat which i'm going to ignore today because so many comments it's, 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 yeah it's, it's kind of it's kind of toxic in there i'm not, in not, there. not in there, yeah, in kind of, kind of act, yeah but the thing is again i mean former spent a lot of money and they have a much deeper bench i think they what i think they made five changes from the last game we made one and again it's not about squad depth but you said it's about injuries listen people talk mm -hmm. about our defenders Squad depth. We are missing three center halves. People want to forget Rob Holding, Mark Gahey, and Chris Richards. That's three center halves. When you're playing a back three, what do you do? You, you put Loma in there. We're not creating enough. Yeah, you're right. We're not. So we, we had Edward coming off an injury on the bench, came on, was very anonymous. Yeah, but Lise is still out, hopefully back for the weekend. Yeah, Franz are out. So we have players that can play there, except they're injured. I'm not really sure people want. I mean, the guy been here now five games, and I already hear people in the chat making comments about Glasgow. 
what do you want him to do today? Like, what do you want him to do? I mean, what are we supposed to do? I was at the previous game when they played Bone for Home. It was a lot worse than this. It was a lot worse than this, I'll tell you that. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. I'm not exactly sure what people want, but again, you're entitled to your opinions. But again, I don't know. It's not a squad. It's an injury issue. We are suffering injuries to key players. And again, today, you want Eze to step up, play better than this Saturday, but still wasn't up to the, the levels I'd like him to be at. Are you? Now, I have a question about Are you, uh, T. Do you think he's he, – he, he is a Muslim, is that correct? I believe he's fasting. Isn't he fasting right now? He would be, right? That's a good question. Um, I do not well, I know. Do not, I, I think that's know. part of it. I don't. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he is because I think him. And that's a good question. Beyonce and that's a good question because I know they they stopped they actually stopped the match so that um with Tara. So that right. Otara could could right. could uh, break his fast. So I right. wonder. I think if, I'm pretty sure that could be wrong, but he's been off for the last couple of games. But I mean, again, he was playing such a high level before. People expect people to play at the same level the entire season. I don't know what people expect from our team. And again, people want to make, you know, Henderson. Henderson, by the way, had a great game today. A yeah, great did. save on Billing. Yeah. made a great save on Cliver. He couldn't stop that Cliver at shot. But again, so again, we, you know, it, it is it's football, man. Football's tough. Football's a tough game. Tough, tough game. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. So we'll bring on our, our first guest uh, of the evening. We're going to bring on Cody. What's up, Cody? How you doing, man? What's going on, T? What's going on, Patrick? Uh, hey, Cody. Much, how are you man. doing, buddy? Doing good, man. Doing good. A little disappointed, but I'm all right. Yeah, so so just give us your thoughts from, from what you saw out there. Uh, we need players back. Um, we, we need our attacking threats back. We need we need our we need our team back. That's a lot of the issues we're having. I mean, people want to say that you know Lazar's looking like Roy with some of the stuff he's setting up, but if you look at the bench, man, we don't have any options. I mean, we don't have Elise, we don't have Decore, we don't have Gay. He, I mean, just mm-hmm. most of our star guys are out. So, yeah. I mean, before this game happened, I was looking and expecting that we would probably either draw or win by one. And unfortunately, we didn't get that. It is what it is. But I mean, I mean, I mean, there's not much you can expect with what we have to work with. Is how I see it. I think. Um, I think Henderson actually shocked me. He had a really good game. I was really happy with Henderson. I think Lerma mm-hmm. did pretty well playing back in defense, covering for uh, Richards today. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ones I was kind of disappointed with, Ayu, man, is that second game in a row, he's looked like a ghost. I, I'm, You know, he's just not there. Um, I don't know what what's going on with him. Um, I'd like to see more out of him. I was expecting more out of him today considering what we don't have to put on the field from the bench. And we mm-hmm. just didn't get it today. Um, I think Matetic did what he could do. He did some great hold-up plays, just couldn't get those finishes in or those passes through. Um, but I will say, Eze, he's like 50-50th with me every week. It's you know, it's either we, we get what we need out of him or we don't. And this is one of those games where like we he has great ball control, he, he can hold the ball, get get some passes through. We just need him to make those finishes at the end. I think I counted two or three times where he could have finished it. I mean, that could have been a difference for us, you know, winning or losing the game today. Mateta had mm-hmm. one shot, but, I mean, yeah, he was covered the whole time. But, I mean, like I said, we, we did what we could with what we had. Yeah, and it, it, it's a tough – it's a tough one, man. I mean, because, you know – we could be sitting here talking about a, a, a one-one draw had we not had that offside call, and yeah. you know, as a as a pulls another goal out of his hat for us, and you know, I feel like the conversation may be slightly different, but you know, it's it, that yes, that's the game. That's the game that that, yeah. that that that's so that's so tough sometimes. Tell me what your thoughts were when you saw Ozo coming on, but then realized that he was going to left center back and uh, moving Lerma then to the to, to central midfield. Um, yeah, I didn't understand that. Um, I thought Lerma was doing just fine playing center back. I mean, he, he was doing great. He made a fantastic save um, earlier in the game. I think it was in the first half. Um, yeah, I didn't understand that. I think Ozo just needs to be where he needs to be. That's where we know how, how he can play well there. I think Lerma mm-hmm. did a fantastic job, like I said, replacing Richards. Yeah, I, I didn't understand that. 
And another thing that bothered me was I don't understand, you know, Wharton coming off. At the end of the game, he was still running. He was still going. So it's not like it looked like he was tired or anything. I, I just I can't get that concept with Lasner taking him out every game. I think he deserves to play the full 90 minutes or 90 plus minutes. But um, yeah, I, I, I didn't understand that, T. I didn't. I, I think it should have been Lerma stand back there in the back. And I think Ozo should have just switched out for anybody for Hughes. But might I add, man, I'll say this I am a Hughes hater, okay? But that guy today, I'm telling you, man, he had the game of his life tonight. Mm-hmm. He, he had so many intercepted passes. I mean, he was he was all over anybody in the midfield for, on Bournemouth. So I, mm-hmm. I got to give him today because he really stepped it up for us today. Yeah, I think the thing that I didn't like and that shocked me about the move with moving Lerma into the midfield, I, I see what you're trying to do because you're trying to get a guy like him in, in, into the game to hopefully get us a goal back. But yeah, at the same time, you're sacrificing solidity yeah, in a exactly. way that I felt we should have been trying to preserve. Because even with Lerma in that back three, we were able to, to, to get some chances to, you know, he had a goal disallowed. So it's, it's not like in, in certain ways we were – necessarily lacking in a lot of ways. And, and you could even, if you really felt the, the need to get a midfielder in there to get us forward, yes, Ozo could do that. But then you also got guys like Ahamada on the bench who, right. interesting enough, the last, what, I think two matches hasn't seen the pitch. Yeah, which is crazy to me. I mean, I know he – I don't know. I think what was it, the first game he came out with, with Glasner, he made some – it was – what was it, the mistake – of not taking it, or he passed it to the other team. They ended up scoring and winning off mm-hmm. of it. I think ever mm-hmm. since then, Glasner's has kind of got this. I don't, I don't want to say it this way, but maybe a bit of a trust issue with them because of that. And, and it seems like that's been the issue with a lot of managers uh, that we've had with them too. So yeah, yeah. Well, before I let you go, man, um, looking ahead to what we have for the rest of the season. <laughs> some, some really, really tough matchups, man. Like, just give me your thoughts on what you could see from us uh, seeing out the season. Oh, man. Um, well, we, we like I said in the comment section, we needed this win tonight, and we didn't get it. Um, I mean, we all know it's it's Man City and Liverpool right back to back. I mean, that's, that's, that's the toughest it's going to get for us all season. Yeah. Yeah, short um, week too. Short week too. Yeah. So I mean, I'm honestly I love Palace, man, but I'm not expecting a lot out of those two games. Um, I do think though, if we can get some players back by who they play after that, I think it's either is it the Wolves we play after that after those two games? I believe so. I think it's also think so. Fulham's in there somewhere too. Yeah. But if we can get around those two games to get some players back, um, I know we have Villa. I think it's a home game for our last game. I think we can pull a win out of that. Um, um, it's uh, it's 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 Man City, Liverpool, West Ham, Newcastle, yeah. Fulham, Man U, Wolves, Villa. Okay. Yeah. So I think Fulham, we can we might be able to get something out of that too. Even if it's a draw, I'll take it. Um, I think. I mean, I don't know. I think, honestly, we can pull something out of West Ham. I might be crazy, but I think we can get a win out of there. Um, that's the one other game I'm hoping we can get something out of. Newcastle, it's one of those, it's like, we know what it is. We normally draw with those guys, so I, I just see it as a draw or maybe a one nil loss. But I think we just need to try any other game after Liverpool game. We either got to draw or at least get some sort of a point out of it. Because if we can't, then we're actually looking at some pretty big problems. Yeah. Definitely so, definitely so. Well, Cody, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for tapping in with us, dude. Uh, appreciate you taking the time out to uh, to share your thoughts and things. And, you know, stay down, man. Stay down. We're, we're trying, man. Hey, up to Palace. All right, man. Up to Palace. Up to Palace. All right. So we're going to bring on Stan and Wallace here. What's up, guys? How's it going, okay, man? man? Good, 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 good to see you both, man. Stan, been a while, man. Been a while, bro. You good, yeah? I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. So, uh, Bollocks, I'll start with you, man. Just uh, 
give me your your quick synopsis of of uh of what you took in today no i'm just gonna wake up again tomorrow very cheesed off that we've lost again mm-hmm. um it's like like we had that four on so we had a few half chances to um to get that early goal whether we'd have kept an eyes a different story but we're never gonna have to worry about that scenario now um but just the frustration of looking at the players get increasingly ineffective and tired as a maybe being the, the main culprit of it all and just lack of reaction and then envying yet another team's bench um you know Bournemouth are hardly giants and it's actually happened to quite a few teams i've looked at their bench for envy and they start their substitutions early and their substitutes are like mm, oh yeah i've heard of him he's pretty handy mm-hmm. and we just can't do anything in in any, you know, to retaliate, we have nothing there to change anything. I know we might get the career back, we might get Gay back, and um, for the end of the season, at least that was Lee would be key. But uh, you think, what more can we do? Is, is it an attitude thing? Is it that there's no leadership out there? Is it just Robert the Green because we're running out of these, these winnable games? That probably was the, the easiest game we had left um, of this running, and we've just like given six points this season and they've had to mm-hmm. barely had to lift a finger like we've been crap against them both times um but then on another day those margins go the other way we pick the correct three ball now four oh two four versus two mateta is like a millimeter further away from goal for that build up and um we might have got the lead at least and sort of run away with a point and i think we've been a bit better but it's tough i don't i think uh, glasman's probably just realizing just how tough it is so yeah, I don't know how Stan felt. <laughs> yeah, so Stan, Stan, give me give me your thoughts on uh, that. That game season. just sums up our entire season. Like it just mm-hmm. sums up our entire season. Like absolute mm-hmm. dog shit bench all season. Can't get your players fit. Um, you know, their subs won it for them, and I knew that would happen because we were holding our own. We, but I just knew that would happen. Um, you know, Semenyo. Steve Parrish declined to sign him, guys. And I knew, I've, I've seen him play a couple of times this season, and I've seen him do the, the cut inside, the, the chop this, chop that. You can't blame Ozo, he's just a kid, right? I don't know why he went centre-back. We can talk about that another time. I don't know why he took Lerma out of centre-back and put Ozo there. No idea. But he, the, the subs did it for us, and it is just, the whole season has been an absolute clusterfuck from start to finish the bad appointment of roy coming back in the summer the lack of resources the lack of squad depth a manager running these players into the ground so they go, they've been we've got so they get injured and pick up serious injuries and this is what we have i think we'll just about stay up i think 33 points will do it to be honest with you um but i mean i've got so many sort of points and questions as to why certain things were done the way they were today. I mean, you know, you just um, bollocks. So, what's your actual name? I don't want to call you bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, parents weren't that bad to me. <laughs> what's your actual name, sorry? It's Chris. Chris. So, like, yeah. you made a point, like, we've just given Bournemouth six points this year. Like, we just, there you go, have it. Luton, four points off of us, right? Um, you know, that's there. Um, you know, I, I think Oliver Glasner has done what he what he can in many ways, and he's working with what he's got. Um, but you can see it. I mean, they took off. I mean, look at their subs that came on. What was it, Semenyo? Who would it, Cliver? Um, well, Semenyo had a virus in midweek. And he looked so fired up and so focused. And if you shoulder bars a few people off, you like, you know, had strength and still. Because our players are just knackered. So even some of the virus who was out sick and now he just made the bench, he yeah. um, is able to, because Mitchell hasn't had a day off, off his job for God knows how long, I don't know, three or four years, and might even end up going to Germany. It's not really his fault, but it's now the left back. So he's going to have no break again. Yeah. Are oh, you just has been knackered since AFCON and even more knackered since last he's international knackered. break? He is. He and was terrible. Shocking. I don't get. I don't even get angry at them because it's not. It's not like they could do much more. They could. They could maybe have a bit more 
in terms of guts. I think Lerman's definitely got more determination than many out there. Walton's got the class and a bit of silkiness. But, you know, Mateta, again, when when did he last get a breather? And when he brings on people like Edward, you think, well, when was the last time he even remotely changed the game? Like, but, just try one of the kids, just be the unknown quantity. They won't have scouted him, did, you know, if we've been on Uma or um, McCarwin, is it? I don't know how say his name. Just give it a go. So, please. Edward's on 100 grand a week, right? We got 100 grand a week, right? Yeah. And like, I saw him come on today and he was useless. And he was, he pissed me off when he came on. Um, in another game recently, I can't remember when, but he really, really pissed me off when he came on against Spurs. Um, he's just so ineffective. And he is the type, he is a one-dimensional striker. And I've been saying this, and I don't get these football managers, whether it's Roy Hodgson, whether it's Vieira, or whether it's Oliver Glasner, they're bringing him in and they're playing him on the left or playing him on the right. He can't play there. He doesn't. If you're no. bringing on Odson Edward, he's a through the middle and ping the ball in the box and he'll finish it. He can't do anything else. He's crap. He is absolutely yeah. Yeah. useless. I don't, I, he took Will Hughes off. Will Hughes p- picked up the most stupidest booking today. He was mm-hmm. doing really well in that midfield. Yeah. Why did you drag yeah. Lewis Cook back? Like, why have you, like, yeah. how, how dumb are you? Like, how dumb are some of these players? And I've got to say, I'm not hating on Eze because we all love him. Yeah. But my God, what's got, like, does he even fancy it? Like, I'm being serious. Does he even fancy it? He goes over quicker than a granny on a frosty morning, right? <laughs> Let's be real. Hmm. And it's, like, he just, I, I don't know what he's, honestly, guys, like, I don't know how he got any England squad. He is, no. at, at this moment in time, he is absolutely crap. He, he misses his mate, and like Wilfie gets marked out of games. That's me fighting this, but a lot of it you can't. Some of the decision making he's making, regardless of those facts, it just it's just beyond questionable. And like these silly fucking corners we're doing, like we put one in the box and it 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 kind of uh, shot up in the air, and there's no one there just to slam it home. And I was just thinking, I really miss someone like Delaney or Dan or anybody there just to go. Well, let's just take our chances at this corner. Instead, it just will have clear it easily. But the other corners we have. We just, um, it's like we're trying, like there's some sort of force field around there or something that we're almost playing a game. I don't think bet on no corner score this season or something, but it's just, they're not even, they're not even trying to get it in there. And all it would take is um, a lucky deflection or no one, on the, no one on near post or far post and someone like Anderson to put in um, a header. But if we, don't, if we don't help ourselves in those sort of things, we don't help ourselves in the last part of the pitch. The, the passing is dreadful. It was a very championship or league one type game, you know, in a in a crap stadium with a, a nothing team who are now eleven points clear of us, I think. They're miles ahead of us. Miles. And yeah, their squad we're not, we're not, is yeah, that's it. absolutely yeah, yeah, that's true. light years yeah. ahead of us. So know? so Chris, looking forward though to what is a tough road ahead uh to, to finish the season. Um what do you feel like is has to happen for us uh, in order to, I, don't, uh, I, I guess, I ensure don't ensure uh, a decent finish? I wish I could answer that. I think it's damage imitation against City and Liverpool. And do you, because it, to the, to both Roy and Glasner's defence and Paddy, like most of the games we've been involved in this season have been close until the end. So if you're 3-0 down or 3-0 up, you can take off those star players and rotate them mm. and just say to the kids, right, you've got nothing to lose or, um, you know, save them 30 minutes of legs. People like uh, Mitchell and that we discussed earlier. But I don't know how you'd approach those games. Um, you just have to hope, see, you think about Europe too much or the FA Cup or whatever they're up to this week or next week. And, um, yeah, oh, it's Liverpool next, sorry, it's Liverpool next thing, I think. Yeah. Mm. Um, I don't know. I just honestly, mate. I mean, it's, as you say, we've got so lim- so few tools to work with. Uh, it's difficult to answer that. We'll see. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it, it's, it's it's tough times right now, man, for sure. Well, Chris, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming on. That's one guy sharing, on sharing your stuff, Cheers. and uh, we look forward to speaking to you in the future. All right. Yep. Take it, lads. Right. Yeah. See ya. So, Stan, before we bring on uh, the next guest, when you were watching. What would you say was kind of the turning point for you? 
I don't know why he took Lerma out of centre back and put Ozo there. I like think, yeah, yeah. you know, Ozo's hardly team, got man. a look in under him, and then he goes and puts him on at centre back. Like, come on, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know why he bought Jeffrey Schlupp on. I'm not sure. I, I don't. <laughs> Don't uh, know what Jeff, you know what it Jeffrey Schlupp must do something in training in the in between times with these managers. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. They they I I couldn't I couldn't tell you. Uh, I, I, I listen. I've said this all along. I just don't understand how after eleven Premier League seasons. We just still can't get it right. Do you know what I mean? We still can't have a... We still can't get it right. Do you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like after 11 Premier League seasons, we don't back managers. We might back him in the summer once we once we stay up. I, I just don't know how... Like, I, I just don't get it. And I just... I, I can't fathom for the life of me why in the summer they decided to bring the old boy back and they did not invest some money into this playing squad. Credit to Dean Henderson today. I've been on his back all season. He was excellent today. He was he absolutely was. excellent. He was. Um, he, had, he had some. He had some really, really good saves, man. Yeah, like, he was excellent I, I, today. And, and and Patrick and Patrick mentioned it earlier, man. Like if anybody deserves some some recognition for the level of play that they exhibited, I would say that uh, Dean Henderson is you know, uh, definitely guy for that. But it's it's the same old, same old. And Glasner's working with with what he's got, and it's a lack of squad depth. It's bad injuries. Listen, something needs to go our way because at the moment, <laughs> nothing's going our way. Something needs to go our way. I would agree. I would agree. Welcome back, Pat. Um, hey. Appreciate you making it back, man. Everything good? Yeah, no problem. Right on. So we're gonna bring on our next guest. We're gonna bring on Tim. Tim, what's up, brother? How you doing? Uh, you muted, I'm Tim. Mute, Tim. <laughs> I'm all right. There you go. Um, like Patrick, the I I had to switch away from the from the chat. I just um, you know, I already have a naturally pessimistic brain, and when I hear that, it just it ain't helping. Sorry, it ain't helping. That ain't therapy. That's just that's just driving me into the ground. And I, I can't I can't do it. But I'm disappointed. Um it it's a game that you know we've we've got a chance to to go win. Um mm -hmm. I mean Mateta off by a couple of millimeters on the offside. It's the right call. I would have been pissed if it had gone against us, so I can't complain about it, but um that's that's super disappointing. And the second half, you get some territory, but you don't put yourself in positions to to score. Uh, mm -hmm. And that that is a that's a problem. Um, I thought the game turned honestly after Hughes went off, which I guess is when Ozo, you know, uh, slots and into it was it was it was a double switch, wasn't it? I don't remember. I, I, I don't remember. It was either right around that time, but mm. Hughes had what I thought was his his best game in a Palace shirt at least this season. Mm. Um, he looked he looked great, and it looked like he was the trigger man for the press, which was terrific. I, I, I it's it's extremely disappointing, but I'm not in the. I'm just. We do need things to go our way. Yes, we need to get players back. That's also true. I'm just not buying the we're going down. It's the worst it's ever been. I'm just I'm not buying that. Yeah, I mean, I look at the table and I can't I can't necessarily agree with that either. I mean, so like here's the thing. It's it's been a it's been a deeply frustrating and annoying season. It is and it's been and I can appreciate that. Like it's a hard watch. Like I, I do, I kind of put it this way to my 
you know, friends who are other other football fans here where we hang out at our work and, you know, all Liverpool, Tottenham fans, like, you want to be a Palace fan, you got to want it. You got to want it, you know, like, because it is hard. You, you got to want You're doing, you're doing the hard yards <laughs> if you're going to be a, a, a Palace supporter. Um, yeah. And it has been hard yards this, this season. It's been tough. I, I do agree with Stan – the, in the sense that I do think the um, as much as I like and I think we're on the right path with the strategy, T, mm -hmm. um, the board did catch us out. I mean, the depth is on the board and the depth has been a massive issue. So and and even if we had a healthy squad, you look at that born in the squad and this is a, I do think this is a fair criticism. You look at that born in the squad if we had two healthy squads, they'd still have more depth than we have. They still would. And, and that is a, that's, that is a problem that needs to get solved in the summer. Now, I think, I think they're taking steps to solve it. Uh, I think it was extremely smart to get the, the loan going into, you know, going into the end of the season. So we can start the window with some fresh capital where you're going to have several teams that for FFP reasons are going to be on the back foot and you can see what we're able to do when we have the capacity to be a bit more front footed because we did it during the winter window. Mm -hmm. Like that is so I'm, I'm hopeful there, but yeah, it's disappointing game, man. It's tough. It's a tough watch. It, the whole season has been a really tough watch and I'm looking forward to the summer. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not as in the same, like, dire, we're going down, the team is absolute, you know, trash. I think we're going to see what Palace is, I hope, um, when we get more of the first team players back. Like, when we can... Like here's when it'll I, I think it'll show up for me. When Elise's on and Eze is on, and then we have the capacity to say sub in Franza, and we have the capacity to sub in Jess. Like, what does that team look like? Mm -hmm. Because honest to God, we have no idea. <laughs> we don't we don't know what that team looks like. So I want to find out. Let's find out. Absolutely, I, I think <laughs> it, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of like uh, you know the the idea of untapped potential. You know, you you never know what this team could really be because we haven't had a chance to see it together yet, all together. You know what I mean? So I, yeah. I, I fully agree with you. But um, so before I let you go, Tim, just because we got so many people waiting, but the yeah. the look no, ahead, the the race, the race to the finish uh for you what does what does what the look ahead look like for you how do you what what's i wouldn't say i wouldn't say what's the um the perfect scenario but what's what's ideal for us uh trying to finish this well i mean i think the ideal scenario to be honest t is to get safe as as soon as possible and i think 33 somewhere between 33 and 35 points will do it I think you got to get a surprise victory from yeah. somewhere. I'm not going to yeah. say that city. And then you look at one match at a time, one match at a time. We've got, we've got players that need to come back and let's, let's see what they've got. Um, but one thing before I, I, I let you, you know, so I jump out of line so other folks can, can get in here. Can we just for a second give a huge, shout out to the women's team no joke man that women's team is freaking phenomenal and they have three matches left they play on the 14th if they beat birmingham city they go two points up on sunderland so if they if they if they beat them they're then they're top of the league mm. then it's then it's the last two matches and the last match is at home at selhurst park so it is entirely possible like as many people as can show up there, I mean that's the game to go up top. You know, go up to the first tier. 
Go support so, them, I mean, Go they support them. they deserve – Laura Kaminsky has been freaking phenomenal. That team has been great. And they – as as much as the first team has been a hard watch, the women's team has been a fun watch for what it's Right worth. on. Right on. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 You, make, you make a great point. At least, at, at least support them. Absolutely. Yeah. Come on, man. All right, let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> right up on. The, up the palace, guys. Take, take care of yourselves. Take, take care, care. Always brother. good to see you. Yeah. All right. You too. Take care. So, real my man, Patrick. Patrick, what's up, man? How are you? Uh, I don't, you know, he, uh, Ozil's getting a lot of, they're getting a lot of flack for moving him to a back three. Probably not the best decision, but looking at that goal, if he just takes dude out, takes a yellow card, that goal doesn't happen. And a lot of goals we give up this year, unless it's Hughes doing something stupid or Anderson making a tackle, we don't have nobody that's going to take somebody out. The Chelsea game, Lerma let the dude run right through the middle. I just look at I, – I know I'm – and I'm really stretching here, by the way. But not, he's, not a, he's not a center back. He just playing there now. You got to give him – it's a rainy field, a pitch. Just take him out. Probably not coach to do that. Just take him out. Rub him out. Take the yellow because I don't think we were going to score. I mean, what do you expect? We're all banged up beyond belief. And and those in the chat with the cancerous uh, stuff, man, stop, stop. You could be Nottingham Forest. You could be Luton. You could, well, Luton's going to fight. You could be Everton. We're good. We don't look good, but we're good. All I want to see is just get it. Just get a win soon. Please just get a win. And get some of these healthy players back so we don't have to see Jeffrey Schultz anymore. We, we don't have to see some of these guys that just shouldn't be on the team. That, yeah, I, I think, uh, like you said, you, like like you and Tim mentioned, you know, look at these last few fixtures. You got you got to find the win. Maybe, oh, I, maybe a lot a couple, of the fixtures couple, are at home. Draws. I, just, I just happen to look. A lot of those fixtures are at home. Villa's at home. United's at home. The last game of the year might not, not mean anything for Villa. West Ham is at home, and West Ham could go from looking good to garbage in five seconds. Uh, so I, I think we'll get a it, – it'll be ugly. But, you know, I mean, there's some – I mean, there's a couple good things that's come out of this year. I mean, you know, Mateta looking pretty decent if he gets service. I mean, you know, he's, his turnaround is pretty good. There's some players we just got to get out. We're just not a good team – without Elise and a couple other guys. It's just the way it is. As a I, – I don't know if he's trying to do too much, if he thinks his wealth, if he's looking at a mirror and thinking he's better than he is, something's missing there. Because the thing about him being injured, that excuse went down the toilet. He's played a few games now. So he's got to – got he if like Patrick said the last, last show y'all did, if he was a top six player, he would be doing what Wilf did to these teams and, and dominate them. Now, Will fell a lot and complained, but nonetheless, difference of opinion. But Will right. dominated those. He's at Bournemouth. He would drop a couple goals a game on. And that's just the truth. One goal, a couple of assists creates them. As he's tripping and falling over himself, looking for the foul. I mean, that that if you're that good, then you would be already gone. Now, I think everybody's going to stay because – our medical staff is garbage. I mean, that that's something that needs to be looked at unless they've already completely changed it. Because, I mean, every year from Roy in the beginning, four years ago, through to here, there's always injuries, right? But this year has just been awful. And they're still getting hurt now that Roy's been gone a month. What is it, five games for uh, Glasner now? He's one, two, and two? Yeah. So one, draw, one win, two draws, two losses. So... I, mean, I think that needs to be looked at too. Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 go ahead, Patrick. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know the thing is, I mean, you know, just I'm just I'm taking a lot of time here just to listen to people's opinions, and the game is a really a game of fine margins. So, mm -hmm. so we can critique all we want, but if Mateta is one foot further back, are you having an assist for a goal to Eze? So you can't get hurt by Eze today. Ayu has an assist. Talk, yeah, you wouldn't talk about Ayu because Ayu had an assist because again he was quiet, but he had an assist. And if he decides to not put Ozil on and Lerma makes that mistake, 
what do you guys say now? That Lerma shouldn't have been back there either because he's not a center. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I get I get the complaint and I get the comments, but you have to understand where we are in this season. Our season was done a long time ago. We're not going down. For us to go down, and some people should really just go back and do the math themselves because the chances of Luton, Forest, and Everton surpassing us based on the fixtures they have. Go look at the fixtures they have. They have to do better than they've done. I was just season. looking at that, actually. And we yeah. have to lose every game, which, again, I guess that's possible. I don't think we'll lose every game, but it's possible. So I get well, the Dumakun because we're Palace fans, but it's like the game is fine margins. And, again, it comes down to me to the injuries. We have a brand-new manager. Had just said he's won one. He's lost one, two. He's won yeah. two. Put, he's one, putting in a brand-new system in a short amount of time. The football, to me, is better to watch. You can say whatever you want about it was a crap game to watch. I enjoyed the attempt to press, the attempt to create chance. It looks better than it's been in the past. We, we didn't sit back for 90 minutes and let Bournemouth... Because I was there in at Sellers Park. That game was crap. Mm. That game in December was crap. This game was that not was crap. The was game, right? That was the game, That was the Exactly. Yeah. When right yeah. after the game, me... AJ and and D are sitting in the in the in the in the in the outside freezing. Uh, you know what's off? Saying Roy's got to go. Roy's got to walk. And <laughs> I mean, that's when it first started. The Roy out started that match. So again, I get it. But it's like you know what? Until we get players back, which hopefully at least is back on Saturday and going forward, and Raksaki's back in the in the mix. At least Edward's back. To complain about this game tonight, I get it. Frustration. But what do you want to do? Again, someone said. Born for fifth, listen, they spent money than us. Their benches was be- better than ours. I mean, to get a point. They, I, again, I they spend game, money on every game. window. Everywhere. I think I, window, that's bro. why I just didn't come on here with the anti-American owner. Like, I've already done there, done that. It, wait, it, wait. But, you're, but it says that all it's owners out. All owners out. out. Yeah, I didn't say yeah, but I didn't speak it. He into, said all. I didn't speak it. He did say, he said all. I'm already, I'm yeah. already joking. I'm already joking. Yeah. Pat. I mean, <laughs> Patrick. I mean, Every Look, team's bench is better than ours in the Premier League. It is. At this moment in time, maybe Sheffield United, but even they could probably bring on someone that might be able to do something. Like At this moment in time, our options off the bench are terrible. They are. Because, they're not we, have, because, we, have, because we have nine injuries. I mean, I you're right. Like, I'm not I arguing just, that point, but we have I, nine injuries. That's I mean, why. for me, for me the, the game came down to take somebody out. Like, I've seen us drop points because nobody's willing outside of Will Hughes and Lerma or somebody to take a damn yellow card. Just take him out. I don't care if he's out of position. He's but putting Patrick, everybody. Just take him out. That's but it. Pa- but, Patrick, Will Hughes, he had a decent enough game, but he p- picked up an absolutely clueless, stupid take yellow. Out. Right? Yeah. And he had to go off because he was on the booking. So, well, just saying, me- take him out well, is, is, not, is not the one. Like, he picked up an ab- – like, that pullback on Lewis Cook, I, I mean, that's that, that's like basic football. You don't do that. You well, really, really you. Don't do that. How, how would you have felt, Stan, if Ozil would have took homeboy out, the guy that beat him? Just took him out. Take the yellow card. I would have said, yeah. well done. But listen, you can't blame Ozil. He's not centre-back. No, that's I mean, the, the point I'm making. Is, that's that's, that's the, the point I'm making. You know, like, we Take can even sit here and say that now. You know, and he, in the midst of it, it looked like he tried to to shoulder yeah. barge and it looked I'm, like he missed. To be honest with you, and I'm gonna end on this: what I'm afraid with Ozil is because he got beat, Glasner don't put him back in the rest of the way. That would not be right at all. That would not be fair to that young kid at all. That's what I worry about because he hasn't played him up till now. And the couple games Roy played him when we were hanging on to the lead, he would come in for he would s- s- sit with Hughes and actually do pretty good defensively. So, you know, I'm not. It's, we're talking about finances. Somebody offside. Somebody not taking somebody out. The point of the matter is, we need to do. We need the whole team needs to get ripped and shredded and start with these youngsters and get get some guys in here that are good and and that's that. But again, I'll believe it when I see it. They'll get three in next year, like they always do every summer. It's three out of nowhere for a buck twelve and a sandwich, and then we'll get all pumped up again, rinse, wash, and repeat. So all I gotta say is. Root them all against Liverpool. At least I think the games at no the games at Liverpool. Damn it! Well, well, that's it. That's all I got, guys. Sorry, that's all it. Right, I'm, I'm done. Take care, y'all. Thanks, Patrick. No problem, man. Appreciate it. All right, so we got one more guest to bring on before we wrap up the show. I myself have to step away, but I'm gonna uh, allow Patrick and Stan to to bring it home. But we're gonna bring on uh, Henry here so Henry can share his thoughts. What's up, Henry, man? Henry, what's good, bro? 
Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, I'm I'm pissed to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. I am fucking pissed that we've lost that game. Um, I'm upset. I'm angry. I I, I know defeats happen, but this game, Bournemouth. You know these these are the types of games that you have gotta win. You know the, the the teams around you, the the teams that are in in and around your area. You, you and I didn't watch the game. I followed it, right? But I'm looking at the stats here. Three shots for us, eleven for them. Two big chances for them, zero for us. One big chance for them, zero for us. Um, I know we obviously had the Eze goal that was disallowed. I mean, I did see a picture of, of that and it looks like Mateta was just offside. But, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm so, I'm so tired of this, this season, man. I just want it to, if I could just press a button to fast forward the season and end it, and we're safe. Like, I don't care how many points it is, as long as we're safe. I press it straight away, because it's just, it's very concerning to, I mean, to 30 points in 30 games. It's not, it's not good enough. I know we have injuries, a lot of injuries as well, but I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed with the players, the manager today, and I'm not, I don't want to be too harsh because I know that, you know, Glasner's only just come in. You know, obviously it's not his fault and it does take time to drill in a different style of play. And I, I do appreciate that. I just think that you've got to show more intent. You've got to show a bit more hunger and desire and passion. All right, Henry, and, let me, you know, let me, to, to let go me, and let me... win that game. Because that would have been a real chance to gain some breathing space we would have been on 33 points safety would have, would have been within touching distance but now we approach two extremely hard games where let's face it if we get one point we'll be lucky and then we have a match against west ham henry, which is basically must win henry do you think we're going down i don't know i mean i've i keep asking myself the same question and I keep convincing myself, no, I think there's three teams worse than us. I think we should have the quality. A lot of the reason why I thought we wouldn't go down, I've, I've thought, I thought we're not going to go down, is the games against Bournemouth, the games against West Ham, the games against Newcastle, Fulham. I back ourselves to get some, I backed ourselves to get at least one point tonight. And I still do bag. Sorry, I still do back us to get at least one win from now. Um, I think that West Ham game is is huge, and we have to we have to capitalize on that because we're at West home. West Ham are flying, mate. West Ham are flying. Yeah, but they, but you know how inconsistent they are. You know they 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 can West Ham. We know that they're they're one of them teams where they can go and beat someone really big and then lose to someone sort of obscure the next week. So. Even though West Ham are flying, they're having a great season, despite some of their fans' complaints, which I don't understand. Um, we have to target that game if, we're, if we want to stay up. I'm sorry, because if we go into that West Ham game, having lost to Liverpool and Manchester City, which I, I imagine that will happen. I, I hope not. But, I mean, can we really expect hey, to get anything from those? I don't, I'm not sure. Henry. It's... I'm the most pessimistic Palace fan. My Luton's Sir? next three games. Arsenal, Bournemouth, Man City. Yeah. Okay? What about the rest of their games? Listen, what we're going to lose every single game between now and the end of the season. I don't think so. No, I don't. I understand. I'm not that. Hold on a minute. I understand your frustrations. I do. And I think it's malaise. This has been setting in all season. I went, I've been, you know, I, we've watched them all season. The issue is we don't have anything going forward and we have a depleted and threadbare squad, okay? Yeah. But if they go down, Henry, I will pay for you 
to have a holiday in Canada. <laughs> I couldn't do that anyway. I've got, I've got stuff to do here. But look, I, I don't think that we're going to go down. I don't. I just think that we're really flirting with the possibility of it way too much. And like I said, when you, when you go to these places like Bournemouth, you have to do better. I mean, it's just since the Burnley game that got us all hopeful, we've not won since then. We haven't got the players. We we, we well, we, you say no. that, but we would have we would have beaten Luton if we weren't just inviting them on so much to get well, that goal in the last minute. We didn't beat them. Yeah, and that's my point. We didn't beat them. Yeah. Because because of the the bad approach in those last few minutes. Game management. And today I, I look at Bournemouth's goal that, that we that they scored. I mean I part of me sort of agrees with Patrick um when he said that, you know, maybe he should have just taken him out and, and surrendered the free kick. But then I think about our record from conceding from set pieces. And I think, yeah, I don't know about that. Um, But when the ball comes into the box, I noticed that just before Cliver gets his shot away, Munoz sort of dives forward to try and intercept it, to try and make a block. And he misses the ball completely. And I think that sort of opens up the chance. Um, So I think he kind of made a mistake there. But then again, Moonworth has been great since he's come in, so I don't want to give him too much heat on that. But I mean, it's it's very, it's 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 extremely tough times right now being a Palace fan. I mean, I'm I've really, I've got a ticket for the West Ham game, right? But I've also got a ticket for the the women's game, uh, the last match of their season against uh, Sunderland, I think it is. And I, I believe if they win that match, they they get promoted. And I'm more looking forward to that than I am the West Ham game. And, you know, I'm not disparaging the women's team. They've done great. But the fact that I'm more excited to go and see their game than the men's team, that's that's the players' fault. That I mean, I, I, I personally want to be excited to be going to watch Crystal Palace games again. I want to be excited. Today, I came into it. I was feeling okay, but I want to go into games like I did with that Burnley game when it was all excitement because we've got a new manager. And I want to feel excited. I want to feel hopeful, optimistic for that something we can do something good, you know, rather than this just daunting feeling of, oh, God, here we go again. Like, the, the, the Forest game is... I, I, I didn't want to get too down after the Forest game because I thought it's a point away from home. We're still eight points clear. Respect the point. That sort you know, that, that type of attitude. I'm looking at the table now. We're still eight points clear, yeah. But I mean, Stan, you said that Luton Luton's fixtures that they're not gonna win many of them. Luton have got some winnable fixtures, right? They've got Bournemouth at home, they've got Brentford at home. They got Everton at home. They got Fulham at home. That's four winnable fixtures, right? And now I'm not saying they're going to win all four, of course, but just for argument's sake, let's say that they do, right? So if they win all those four games, that's twelve points. So wait, Stan, uh, uh, stop, Henry. They've won how many games all season? Five. Five. They can win four in the last eight. It's not going to happen. It's not oh, going to happen. You, you don't know that. Because <laughs> they haven't won. They've won five in 30. They're going to yeah, win four we've won, in the last we've won eight. seven in 30. Have you seen right. their squad? Have you seen their injuries? Half their squads I mean, are listen, injured. Listen, I, I have to stop you because I get the gloom and doom. But I, again, you're, you're asking. And nearly beat again? them. L- Luton nearly beat Tottenham. They nearly beat Henry. Man City. They, they give Henry. big teams a real scare. Henry, come on, please. Like, see, see, dude, seriously, like. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like you rather it's like you rather have Hodgson back the way you're talking. I don't no, understand where God you're coming no, from. I, I, I get we lost the game. I get we lost the game. We back. lost the game one nil. But you were at the Bournemouth game uh, in December, right? Which is better, this game yeah. or the one in December? Which is the worst? Which I don't know. The best game, I said. 
Oh, you didn't see today's game, you said, right? You didn't watch the game? I didn't watch it. I followed it. Okay. But I, had, I mean, okay, so had but... you watched the game, had you watched the game, trust me, I, I, I've watched both. I was at the first game. I saw this game. Yeah. We were much better today. Again, we've got to take into account the injuries. You guys want to just keep watching over that. But we've had injuries. We didn't all have. Season. We can't just blame again, it on every game. L- let let me finish. We right. didn't have a centre half to play in the back. He played a midfielder who did a really good job at the time he moved the midfield. We did not have a centre half to play in a back three. We've been only playing for the last five games, playing a brand new system under a brand new manager. I get you. I get people are a thing, but again. We have a lot of injuries. Michael Olise, probably our best player, has played 11 games all season, and he did not play today. Eze had a chance to give us the lead. And again, one foot, we are up 1-0 at halftime. He had other chances in the game. You should go back. You should go and read Glasner's comments. He even said the Clivert shot was the first shot Bournemouth had in the whole second half. That was their first shot they had, and they scored. Yeah. So I get the negativity, but again, we have to have a little bit more perspective because, again, it's not Roy Hodgson playing a defensive style. It's a brand new manager trying to implement a style. Did he make a mistake moving Loma out of the back three? Probably. But Loma could have made the same exact mistake, not taking down Semenyo out wide left, and we'd be saying the same thing. Why is Loma playing at centre half in the back three? Do you know what I mean? So we have to get a little perspective. I get it that we have tough games coming up, but do not come on here and tell me you think that Luton Town are going to win four games in the well, last they could. eight they could. when they've Why won they? when they've won because they've won five all season. I do not see it happening. Well, I, I just I just don't see it. I just don't see it. And it's not even know. just them, right? Because then you're gonna have Forest have to pass us, yeah, um, right? And not in Forest and yeah, Everton, right? Team. So that's three teams, right? Are gonna pass us. So it's not one team. It's got to be three other teams that have to pass us. I believe we're in fourteenth. That makes three teams. So how is that going to happen? So Everton's going to Everton, by the way, who got a point today, have not won a game all year, calendar year. Not one. They, they have just set yeah, a new record. They let me just say they set a new record. They they have not won a game in 13 matches. So they're yeah, gonna win the next, but... they're gonna win four games also. I mean, you're asking a lot. I get it, I get it. Gloom Doom. Just have a little perspective. Look at the go back, look at the look at the fixtures because Stan told you for Luton, I have, I have for Everton, fixture. and for Forest, who won today, by the way, they yep. all have to have ridiculous runs and they all cannot do it one might do it they can't all do it and as dan said one win will keep us safe yeah we'll i'm not saying it's going to be spectacular one win three draws whatever it takes we're going to be up so i don't i just don't again i'm just trying to put a little perspective on it because again i was trying to go with you on this but i can't listen to this the entire time this whole i can't because it just to me it's just you're asking a lot. You're asking a lot for us to get ready. Well, look, and if I'm it's not just saying that... it's going to happen. I think you're sort of misunderstanding me a little bit. I'm not. I'm not sitting here saying, "Oh, look, we're going to go down. Look at Luton's fit." I'm just saying it's a possibility, right? We all know that in football, one win can lead to two, three, four because of confidence and stuff like that, right? The, you can't just say, in, in my opinion, that because Luton have won five out of 30 that they won't win four in their last because i, I mean, can what, what i about, can what in the premier the league that... it's hard to win it's hard for arsenal to win four or five in a row and it's hard well, for liverpool it doesn't yeah, happen but, for the bottom team it doesn't what happen the, what about the have you considered that in so many of the games luton right. have been very unlucky in certain matches not to get three points i but mean i didn't get them yeah but that's that's not my point though yeah, Henry, my oh, point is that if we've been, we've been unlucky to... too. We've been unlucky too. You know what? We were unlucky not to get a point today. We were unlucky not to get three points on Saturday. We were unlucky not to get three points against Luton. We were unlucky not to get a point against Spurs. We've lost 18 points from winning positions. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's our fault. That's not luck. You can't blame the 18 points that we've lost on luck, surely. Yeah, but Luton, Luton have probably lost similar points from, from winning positions. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So, look, I mean, I, I fine just, margins. I, Listen, it's fine margins. But either way, it, it, even even if you, to to me, even if you you know make the argument that we're we're, we're definitely going to be safe, which I don't, com- I don't completely agree with. I don't completely disagree with. I'm sort of seventy five percent sure that we're going to be safe. But is it good enough though? 
Is it good enough that for this club, season? Yes. After eleven, move on after eleven season. seasons. Patrick, yeah. Again, eleven seasons have, in the Premier League. We have set, uh, again. We have a 30, brand new manager. Can I, can I just? Can I just? Let me finish. No, let me. No, uh, we have uh, a brand uh, new manager. We are going to do something different. I mean, well, as like I said, we were going to obviously sell probably or lease or get here or a combination of the two. So, yes, if it was Roy Hodgson doing this, I would say, you know what? Yeah, next season going to be just as bad. But if you don't have faith in Oliver Glasner, I can't. That's no, I fine. Do. But, yeah, but Patrick, why did I say I don't have faith in Oliver Glasner? Because you're talking as if next season going to be exactly the same as this season. That's why. No, I'm not. I'm, just I'm, not, saying I'm not even thinking about it. Okay, so what are you going to say then? Go ahead. So what are you going to say? It's not good enough. Go ahead. What are you going to say then? I'm saying that after 30 games, right. we as a club should not be in a position where we are we are so low down in our expectations. Anyway, Roy we, we just we just started yeah, this season as our manager. And that's my point. Roy, we moved Roy on from Roy Hodgson. Never have come back, right? We've put yeah, but we're not going to do it. Actually, we, don't, we don't. We do this every stream. We, we get that. We know that. But he's gone, and you know, hopefully, he's doing really well. But we've got we're past that. I get that. But he's gone. So I'm talking about for. So you're not all looking forward to next season if we stay up under Glasner. You're not looking forward to it. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to hopefully if we just stay up and if we do try and build on and try and finish higher up the table but i mean the, the, i i just don't see why the, the 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 issue i have is as a player why would you want to join crystal palace if, if, because if, oliver he... glasner is the manager and he's won a european trophy with eintracht frankfurt because we have a first class academy and if what we hear is true they are going to spend a significant amount of money on some good players. Okay. So Dougie Friedman is a director of football to name, but a few, there are many reasons why you would want to join Crystal Palace. I've just rolled off two or three. Another one, a Premier League club in London, if they stay up, which they will. So this season, yeah, diabolical, unacceptable. It's on the owners, but listen, let's just have a little bit of faith here. Okay. I'm annoyed. We lost the game. Right, we were unlucky not to get a point. We weren't that bad. Fred Bear Finn squad, well, but let's just have a little bit of faith, Henry. Come on, man. No, I do have faith for next season and the future, but I'm I'm kind of I I I don't know. Maybe I am being a bit too negative. Yeah, I don't know, but I just feel a bit. It, it's just so. After every game, you know, you you get yourself. You try and say, okay, well, there's the next, you know, and I'm looking at those next two fixtures now, and I'm just thinking, for fuck's sake, can I just skip those two, those two games? Because you can if you want. I mean, it's just if we do. I mean, I, I guess you never know. I mean, we did draw against City last time. Uh, we've got Liverpool first, but no, we got I mean, City I, first. No, is it City, City first or yeah. City first? Henry, you know yeah. what? Don't get too down. Have a cup of tea and a biscuit, <laughs> and everything's <laughs> going to be all right. Well, yeah. I mean, we're, we're at least at least we should stay up. But you know, my 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 wider point anyway is just to wrap up is that we need to actually do better as a club to avoid being in this position. Totally you know, I'll, I'll hold my I'll, I'll hold my judgment on that one. You know, I'll give them. Let's see what they do in the summer. Let's see if they back the manager. Let's see what next season holds. Okay, because because that's going to be the time where I think it's going to either it, it's going to kind of make or break the trajectory of of this club moving forward in the in the next few years. But anyway. It's tough being a Palace fan, but you know, we're. I guess, I guess, uh, we're sort of used to this this kind of stuff anyway. But yeah. All right, Henry. Thanks, man. We appreciate thanks, it. Henry. All right. Cheers. Thanks for having Take me care. on. Lads. All right, no problem. Take care. Bye. Stan, anything you want to add before we wrap up? Because it's definitely time to wrap up this show. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I've, 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 I've got other things to do, and uh, yeah, me too. I get, me too. I, I get the, I get the uh, negativity, but let's try yeah, and keep too. a little bit um, of faith. So, I would just say that um, it's very frustrating to lose that game, but um, let's not. 
how can I say it? Let, let's not um, let's not think we're in a last chance saloon just yet. Eh? I think uh, a bit of positivity. Um, I know it's hard. Um, you know, apparently he, Glasner said Elisa's coming back against City, be on the bench. Um, you know, yeah, we lost Chris Richards, but I thought Lerma did a really good job at centre back, to be honest with you. Um, and um, let's just see what happens. Um, if Luton lose their next three games, we're pretty much well, we're pretty much safe now. But if they lose their next three, which I personally think they might, um, yeah. I think we'll be all right. And uh, I, I actually want to end on Glasner's notes because if you haven't heard, it's actually kind of interesting. So he said, if you don't score a goal, you can't win. And then the maximum is 0 0 uh, or 0 0. Sorry. One situation inside the game, it was not on our side. We maybe have to blame ourselves in that we didn't have enough finishes. We had many good situations here. Four against two in the first half. He's right. Remember that. Two against one where we didn't even have a finish. So you need to shoot, you need to have a finish to score a goal. And this is maybe where we have to improve, to be more decisive in our offensive actions in our situations that we have. But we have this every game, and it's not just one. It is four or five or six times we have it. But at the end, we didn't score, and then one situation for Bournemouth decided the game. I would worry about it if we don't have the situation to score, but we have them. I think we played really well in the second half, and we controlled the game. The goal was the first shot in the second half for them. So we controlled the game, but controlling it is not enough. We have to create more power in the opposition box, more directness in the, to the goal, not passing again and again, especially in the weather today. With the wind and the rain, the pitch was very quick and wet. So take the shots. This is what we have to talk about and we, what we want to improve. I mean, there's a little bit more, but listen, he gets it. I mean, he gets the fact that, listen, we have a bit. We had a couple of many. I, I know. I remember the second we talk about there four v. I remember the four v two in the first. I remember two v one. We didn't shoot. Yeah. I mean, and again, if you don't shoot, you don't score. But again, I, I watched the game. I'm not as down. Again, I was at the game in person in, in December. It was terrible. This is again. It's, it's it's not a good look to lose the ball. But like you said, they they spend a lot of money. You mentioned before the game about their bench. They're a better team than we are right now, and they're still only what one? Is it one place ahead of us or two? Two. I mean, right. listen. Unfortunately, no, three. I think. Listen. Unfortunately, they are like it is what it is. Um, right. And you know, like their bench is miles better. You know, and they're yeah. probably players that that we could have signed if we'd have. You know, if our board wouldn't have made such glaring errors. And that's what it's down to at the end of the day. We all know that. But there's no point going into it now. Let's nope. see where we are at the end of the season. Um, you know, their subs won it for them. Absolutely. Said it before the game. I think a point would have been an excellent result tonight. Um, and we were very, um, you know, we, we were unlucky to be undone. I would go on one thing. Eze is starting to grind my gears a little bit. I'm not getting on his back because I love the guy. But he, his performances are becoming a bit lacklustre. His decision-making... He's going down too easily, et cetera, et cetera. So that's one thing I would say is he's he's starting to grind my gears a little bit. But let's, you know, let's not get too too much on his back, eh? Yep. All right. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks, in chat. Appreciate you guys. Uh, 170 <laughs> of you tuned in today. Again, if you, as you leave the stream, please make sure you hit a like. Look out for the Man City preview coming out soon. And uh, appreciate everybody who's been on. Until next time. For me and Stan, T, up the palace. Up the palace.